what's up youtube welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to show you guys how i make my closure wigs from scratch first thing i'm doing is i'm putting my dome cap on the wig head and i'm going to be using these t-pins to basically just stretch the dome cap out a little bit um i don't have one of those wig heads that's like the size of my head so if you have that you can kind of skip this step but i don't so i'm doing it like this to stretch it out so it fits my head because if i don't it'll be too tight so this is my closure i got this closure from icy hair it's a bomb closure i love this closure it's so transparent and it is perfect so i'm gonna just be fitting that to where i want it to go on the wig head if you want a side part you can put it on the side but this wig is going to be a middle part so i'm going to be taking that first pin and putting it in the middle of the closure and then i'm going to take another pin and put it in the back and now you just see me pinning it on the sides i'm pulling it pretty tight because you don't want the closure to look lumpy. Everything just needs to be nice and flat. So now you want to take a C-curved needle. You can find this on Amazon or at like a local beauty supply store. And I'm just going to be threading this needle with hair thread. And basically I'm just tying a knot in it twice to make sure it's secure. So now I'm going to be taking the needle and sewing it through the bulky strap on the closure and also through the dome cap. Then I'm going to take my needle and kind of stick it through the middle of the two threads. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but basically doing that, it just creates a knot, a very secure knot so that it doesn't become undone. And then I just keep sewing. I just sew y'all. This part is just, you have to watch it, I guess, to see how I'm doing this part. So yeah, once you get the hang of it, it's so easy and it's so simple. And you're just gonna be repeating this step across the whole closure. So after I'm done with the first side, I go to the next side and then I sew the back. I'm not really doing a normal sewing method. I believe it's called a loop and pull method where I'm basically looping that needle through it and pulling it through the two threads. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. So once you get to the elastic band part of the dome cap, you don't want to put the needle through the elastic part. You just want to put it above it just through the cloth because once you put it through the elastic, the wig is not going to be as stretchy anymore. To tie off the needle, I'm just going to wrap it around the thread twice and pull it through to create a knot. And then I'm going to cut it and also create two more knots just to make sure like it's really secure.
For the back of the closure, I like to sew the left side first and then tie the needle off in the middle and cut it and then start sewing again on the right side. So I got this hair from Icy Hair on AliExpress and it is a 18 inch Brazilian body wave. Now I'm going to sew the tracks onto the wig. I'm going to take my pins and pin them together. This just helps so that everything stays in place. And I thread my needle the exact same way as I did on the closure. And honestly, this is the exact same process. I'm sewing the exact same way that I was that I sewed the closure on. I don't go through the track, I go through the hair, not through the actual whip. But like I said, when you're sewing on the elastic, you don't want to go through the actual elastic. You just want to go through the cloth on top of the elastic, not through the elastic, above the elastic, if that makes sense. Once I get to the end, I tie the needle and thread off um, just like I did with my closure. And then I make a knot. And one, when I'm going to the next track i never cut my tracks i just flip them over and y'all will see exactly what i mean just like this i flip it over i don't cut it to get to the next weft i just flip it and pin it and start sewing again so anytime i start sewing a new track i do like to go through the weft on the actual fold part because this helps that little piece if y'all get what i'm saying whenever you fold it over i sew through that fold because it helps it to lay super flat and it's not going to be bulky right there at the fold So now I'm folding it over again and I just repeat the exact same process on this fold. I'm going to go through it through the actual weft and then so I like I normally would.
so whenever I'm about to run out of thread and I'm in the middle of a track I just close it off by tying the knot and then I just go back in and start sewing again So once I get to the last track, I know some people like to sew this one with the closure, sew it onto the closure, but I like to just keep it sewn separately. So if I want to, I can take this closure off and replace it with another one. So once I'm done with the wig, I go ahead and I take it off the wig head and I cut the leftover dome cap piece that's left underneath the closure. So this is the wig once I'm done curling and styling it. I think it came out so cute. Um, if you want to see a video on how I actually install it, I'm going to leave that link in the description box below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see y'all in my next one.